Hi everybody, Joe here again. Um, time for a little crafty catch up. And uh, so if you want to grab yourself a brew. Today I've come in, it's just um, a quick little catch up today. And I've come in to answer um, a question. And I do think it's lovely when you ask me questions. I get some lovely emails and I try and answer them as soon as I can. Now, this one is coming from Stephanie. And thank you for commenting, Stephanie. I did a post, I don't know if it was last week, I forget. Do you know what? Don't the days all go into one? Mind you, I don't even know what day it is at the minute. Um, and I did it on ATCs. And um, Stephanie asked if I could show how to create this ATC. So it's ideal gives me something to come in and have a bit of a bit of a crafty chat with you about doesn't it now also she was asking about the moon mask now I have had a couple of emails off other ladies just saying could I go back to basics and go through how to use the moon mask so that's exactly what we'll do today and now if you're somebody who is really proficient in using the moon mask obviously just you know ignore what I'm saying maybe put me on mute <laughs> but do you know what it's lovely when we do have um, beginners and I always say you know whenever I do a workshop on a new technique it makes me a beginner because I haven't done that technique before so I do think we all have to remember what it's like to be back as a beginner but sometimes as well I must admit it's good to revisit techniques because we do forget things oh and life can be so busy can't it and, and a bit hectic and sometimes just different people have different ways of using a technique and they put their spin on it and it might just give you a little hint or tip that actually makes the way you do it actually work a bit better. So that's what we're going to do. But I thought I'd mix it up. I'm going to do this, but I might just turn it into a, a bit of a sort of a Christmas design. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I've got my ATC here. As again, I have all these pieces of card ready cut to size. And what we'll do, we'll start off by doing our stamping and we'll just stamp the branch stamp. And I'm going to use my black. Now, when I stamp the branch, I need to be mindful. I need room for my owl, don't I? So I need to think where I'm going to put the owl. So I need the branch quite low. I love these little pieces of artwork. Now, if you're not somebody who does ATCs, makes ATCs, don't worry at all. Just get yourself a piece of card. Offcuts are great for this. And make yourself some little pieces of artwork. I mean, I must admit, I always say, just take ideas and take which bits you want. And, and just take it to wherever you want it to go. So just because maybe you're not somebody who swaps ATCs, doesn't matter. It doesn't This doesn't have to be an ATC. It can just be a topper for a card. So I'm thinking, I want it pretty straight, don't I? So I'm thinking, let's, let's go there. Now I'm using my new Lavinia acrylic blocks. Lovely and useful. And again, slightly flexible. But again, we'll just give the ink time to soak in. There we go. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to come in with my owl and I'm going to stamp him next. I'm going to do my stamping first before I add my moon mask. And again, as always, me being me, I've overstamped and I've got ink on my block. So I'm just going to wipe that off. And again, that's just something I do. Now I might have to just put my head over. Just I just want to get his claw there. Just so it's positioned on the branch. So it actually looks like he is holding on to the branch. But it just means you might have seen the top of my head. If you have, I do apologise. Mind you. Being five foot one, quite a few people see the top of my head. <laughs> and again, this is a silhouette, so don't be in too much of a rush. I know we all say it, let the ink soak in, and you must get sick of hearing it, but it is worth it, because I must admit, whenever I've been in a rush and I've lifted the um, acrylic block and the stamp off too early, I never get a good image, and it's my own fault, and I always think, oh, why didn't I just wait? So again... Now, obviously, 
tiny bit there that hasn't stamped absolutely perfectly that isn't a problem at all because two things we can do one thing we can use our water reactive pencil and we can add a bit but I've got to be honest I'm actually going to be adding some white highlights but I'll just show you that you can use a paintbrush as well and your ink pad just to, to fill it in if you want totally up to you now I'm just going to run my heat tool over that simply because Versafine is a slower drying ink and again you remember I say that time after time and the last thing we want is um, to smudge this ink to think what I was saying then you know when your mind's on something else Now, with the acetate moon masks, I put a little bit of Posca pen on mine because you know what acetate's like. It's see-through and it's so easy to lose it. I don't know about me, I'm, I'm always losing things. And we're going to decide where to put that. Obviously, you can decide what size as well. Now, I'm thinking, I think it looks nice if it goes over there. And we're going to use faded jeans. I'm using an oxide. My suggestion will be use a lighter colour first to start off with and I've got my stencil brush and I'm going to load my stencil brush up but I would always say take some ink off. Now even if it's an old pad and it's not very strong I would always recommend taking some off because we can always add to this. And again I'm just going to hold it with my fingers. Now always take your stencil brush to the moon mask first and again we say that again and again but it, to be honest I have in a rush gone straight like that and it's just too much of a solid line and I regret it and I think oh, and I have to start again so always dab even if it's like that I've taken a lot off but I'm still gonna dab and I'm almost going to do a flick in motion so I'm actually flicking off my moon mask so the important things are, one, make sure your permanent ink is dry. So you versify and clear, that's a permanent ink. And I'm doing a flicking motion so that what's happening is you will get more intensity next to the mask and then the colour will go paler as it goes further away. Now if I just take that off and turn it round to show you. So can you see, if I bring it a little bit closer to try and show you, so can you see we've got deeper colour here and it goes more faded. Look here how nice and faded it is. And that's because I was sort of doing a flicking motion. And that way you don't get a definite. I know what you were saying, Stephanie, and you can get almost, it looks like a, a, you've put a, a cup down and you've got that ring. And we don't want that just like a ring of colour. We're actually looking for almost like that faded out. And so for me, that's that's the way I would achieve it. Now, I just want to add a little bit more blue down here. So I'm going to pop my mask back on. And then I'm going to pick up some of the ink off my mat here and just add. But again, I'm still doing that flicking motion. And that gives me more of a, of a nice colour like that. So that's the main thing. That's definitely the way. So if I just turn this over and just reiterate, the main things are get a lot of ink off. I know it seems silly, but it's easy to build the colour up and you're sort of flicking like that. The difference is if you go straight on, look, and do this, you can get it too thick and lines. So look at the difference going straight on. And if that's too much colour, if you just flick and you're almost blending it, you're using this when you think this is like a little blending mat. And because you're flicking, you're almost getting an airbrushed and it's a light touch. I always say, try and if, if you're somebody and you know you're heavy handed, try and flick. Try and think of me going, it's a light touch. Come on and look, look at the difference. With that nice, almost airbrushed and the really heavy line there. So I'm hoping that helps because often it's easier to actually um, look 
it's something and again it's like this hopefully you can stop it maybe rewind it maybe then have a go while, while i'm sort of creating and i just think that's easier than me just answering on an email so i always wipe my moon masks as soon as i've finished and then i'm going to pop it back in my little container here so i don't lose it it's really important put things away as you use it as you as you do now on my original one i edged this with black soot so i'll come in now i'm using a smoothie for this and the only reason is that i found one with black on and again i know quite often i get asked do i prefer smoothers do i prefer brushes and really it depends what sort of effect i'm looking for Brushes tend to give me a light airbrushed effect. Smoothies, I can get more colour on. I have blending tools as well, but it's like this. I could have used a blending tool, but I couldn't actually see the one with my black pad. So my smoothie was there with a... This had been used in black ink, so I just go between. <laughs> to be fair, it's whatever I can lay my hands on. So again, circular motions... I know he's an ink up on the corners because I want them deeper and I'm mindful to hold this with my hand look just to stop getting any finger marks. Now, what I did on my, my final card was I just added some, and where is it? Let me just clean this up. You know me, I've got to have a clean working space. I do find it helps, you know. Now, I've added some, what I've done is just with my white pastel pencil, created some orbs. And then what you can do is just put a gel pen in the middle. And then on this one here, to finish off with, I've just added some nice, now you know I like my gel pen, so I've just added, sorry, my pastel pencil. I've added my highlights on my owl with my pastel pencil. I just feel as though for me, it's just more forgiving than my gel pen. I think I might just actually highlight his beak there on this one. Now, the only other thing I've done on this, card here is I flicked my white Posca but what I thought is let's see if we can turn it into a bit of a Christmas design so like I say the only difference here flick your white Posca but I'm wondering if because I am I am mindful of Christmas coming up and I'm trying to get as many Christmas card designs as I can so I've got this little mini holly now again I say this time and time again, but I always recommend the pound stamps. If you're putting a Lavinia order in, add yourself a couple of pound stamps each time. Now, I've got my Shady Lady, and what I'm thinking is, let's just see how strong this looks. Oh, yeah, that, oh, that's going to be lovely. My ink pad's a bit, I don't know if you saw the other day, but it's drying out a bit. But I just wondered if I added some holly, I could turn this into bit of a Christmas design and I'm thinking it'd be a perfect topper so if we add a few there look at the top and then we'll add a few here I don't want to overcook it with the holly but just on this tree here we could add a few as I say this pound stamp is just beautiful for this and I'm mindful, look, if you look where the stem is, you can actually make it look as though the holly. And then I want to add a few coming this way. And that's it. I don't want to add any more. I want to leave that. And what I'm thinking is somewhere... I've got in my little bunch here, look, I'm sure we've got a red we have in our signal. So let me see, could I just add some little red berries? 
on my holly. Now again, obviously you could take a lot longer than this. I just wanted to see if I, if I could turn this into a bit of a Christmas design. And again, on a larger piece of card, you could you could add more holly. But for a pound stamp, I think that stamps beautifully. And obviously, we're going to have to have my Posca flicks, aren't we? So we'll add a few of those. Not too many. I don't really want it over the owl. So I'm just going to add a couple there. And I think that's made a lovely Christmas topper. I <laughs> must admit I'm pleased with that. So if we put the two together. But again, it just shows you. I'm hoping that it just shows you. Oh, I'm going to have to clean that up. Sorry. You know, I'm a bit of a... I need it clean and tidy. Right, there we go. That Posca, I flick it everywhere. So funny because I end up with it on my glasses, on my iPad. But I'm hoping that just shows that because you've got a design, let's just, and again, I'm just thinking add a little bit of white with my gel pen. Just thinking on those branches there, it would just look like the snow, wouldn't it? And I could actually just catch that. Yeah. It's funny when things just, it just needed that to finish it off. Just like it's nestled in those little bits. You know where it, it would in those little... The snow would just... Yeah. And I promise I'm going to stop now. <laughs> so I'm hoping that helps with the tips about the, the moon mask and the blending. Um, if not, Stephanie, do get in touch again and let me know. Um, I'm hoping you have a go. And again, let me know how you get on. And... um. As I say, we've got another Christmas topper made and that would look lovely. Just wouldn't need a lot else, would it? Maybe a nice sentiment, a nice verse. Um, but again, this pound stamp, just fabulous. Do so much with it. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope you're feeling okay. Thank you for the lady who asked me the other, the other day how I am. And um, yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Uh, very busy at the minute, but it keeps me out of mischief. Must admit, I'm missing being in my garden. I do need to get in the garden next week. We've had lots of sort of rain here, but then the odd bit of sunshine and everything's just gone like mad, especially the weeds. Why do they grow the best? Biggest. Anyway, so I think I need a bit of time to get out there and do a bit of weeding. So thanks for joining me, as always. And thanks for your lovely comments and subscribing to the channel. It, it really, honestly, it warms my heart. So you take care. And I'll see you again in a couple of days. Much love and hugs. Bye for now.